before you this morning. Lord, we appreciate you and we thank you for inhabiting the praise of your people this morning. Thank you, Lord, for your presence that has come down in this service. And Lord, as you come down, do only what you can do this morning. That at the end of the day, the glory in our lives will go back to you, King Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we have prayed. The realms of possibilities, I am walking in it. If you know God has lifted you higher, you may please be seated. If you know God has indeed lifted you higher, take your seats comfortably. I take this opportunity to appreciate God and his servant for the privilege to welcome a special set of people this morning. You are fellowshipping with us for the first time. You're tuning in online via our Facebook or our YouTube page for the first time. I welcome you to this service. I welcome you to our covenant day of supernatural employment and promotion. I welcome every one of us to our covenant day of supernatural employment and promotion. As you have tuned in, as you have come this morning physically, your employment and promotion will not be withheld from you. To spiritually welcome us this morning, we are going to take an understanding from the book of Luke chapter 24 and verse 49. I will read the King James Version, and I request the media team to project the Amplified Version. The Bible says, And behold, I send the promise of my Father upon you. But tarry ye in the city of Jerusalem until ye be endued with power from on high. The Amplified Version tells us, And behold, I will send forth upon you what my father has promised, but remain in the city, remain in Jerusalem until you are clothed with power from on high. All that is written concerning us in the word of God is true, but until you are equipped with power from on high, it cannot yield, it cannot come to fruition. And that is why this morning, in our covenant day of supernatural employment and promotion, God is telling us that that promotion that you desire is true concerning you. That thing that you are looking for from him is true concerning you. But you need to be equipped 
equipped with power from on high. The disciples had to take cognizance of this. They were being promoted in their office. They were no longer going to have Jesus physically with them, but Jesus assured them that there is a promise that my father has made and all that I have commanded you to do, you will still be able to do it, but you need to wait so that you can be empowered to execute it. Promotion and, employ and, and supernatural employment demands that we are endued with power from on high. People of God, you need to understand that until you tarry, as we have been tarrying for the past seven days in prayer and fasting, if you know you have tarried, you can shout a louder amen. amen. The Bible says he will send upon us the promise of the Father. After we have tarried, we have tarried on this mountain in the prophetic fast of the fourth month. Today, God is set to release that promise. He is set to release that promise. As you hold steadfastly to his word this morning, the promise that the Father has for you will not elude you. The promise of promotion will not elude you. The promise of visibility at your place of work will not elude you. The promise of whatever has been withheld from you unfairly will not be with help from you. We have tarried on this mountain. The power is set to be released. We have tarried on this mountain. The power is set to be released. In your seat and position, lift up your hands to God. Tell him, Lord, I have tarried in prayer. I have tarried in fasting. I have waited for you. Your word says, if I can wait, if I can wait, if I can tarry, your promise will be sent. I have tarried, Lord, I am ready for your promise. Ready for your promise of supernatural employment ready for your promise of supernatural of supernatural promotion this morning in the mighty name of Jesus we have prayed somebody that is set to receive the promise of God this morning put your hands together for Jesus is the Lord realm of possibilities I'm walking in it Let's be on our feet as we take the hymn of today, page 120, hymn 118, Trust and Obey. When we walk with the Lord in the light of what a glory he shares on our way What we do is good will He abides with us still And with all who we trust and obey Trust and obey For there's no other way To be happy in Jesus Than to trust and
there is no other way but to trust and obey. Hallelujah. Realms of possibilities. I am walking in it. Hallelujah. Please, you may be seated. I want to appreciate God and the leadership for the opportunity given to me this morning to bring to us the testimonies and the announcement. Brother Alan, kindly come forward as we prepare to take the testimonies this morning. First Samuel chapter 17 and verse number 37. First Samuel 17 and 37. The Bible says, David said, moreover, the Lord that delivered me out of the paw of the lion and out of the paw of the bear, he will deliver me out of the hand of this Philistine. And Saul said unto David, Go, and the Lord go be with thee. Hallelujah. The same God that delivered him from the lion and the paw, he was confident that the same God will also deliver him from the uncircumcised Philistine. The same God that has delivered you from January, February, March, the same God that has given you testimony before, he will yet give you another testimony in Jesus' name. And this morning, we have Brother Alan to share with us his testimony. Brother Alan, please come forward. I was blind and now I see. Put your hand together for him. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord Church. Uh, my name is Brother Alan Wanani. I'm a privileged drama in this ministry. I have returned to give God all the glory. Uh, it was last week when children are reporting in the school. Uh, my wife was reminding me. It was one day before the day. She was telling me, no, you know, they have already... Uh, remind us as parents we have to clear the money for the school fees so the children they can be allowed to their classroom and he hammered that thing so many times in my ear and I know the program now I was quiet now she was wondering because women live by planning now when you live by planning when the, that plan fell fear set in I was telling her no, be careful. Don't allow fear to enter you because it will affect things. And then I thank God the following day, one of my customers called me. When I went, I do the work to that person. He blessed me with more than enough. Yeah. Your hands together for Jesus for more than enough. Yeah. I pay my school fees. When I clear the bills of my school fees, it was on Thursday. I couldn't finish the work where I went to work. I tell the pastor, the, the, the person, I will come back tomorrow. When I go there, it was on Friday. I go to get the work done. I told the person, thank you so much because what you give me yesterday, it was more than enough. I clear the bills of my daughter's school fees. The person was so happy. He said, ah, this, this is not normal. You are the one who delivered the service to me. Why are you coming to tell me thank you? So because of that, let me add this to you. Your hands together for Jesus, an addition to what was more than enough. So people of God, there are two things that in making believer to sit on, on testimony. One is fear. One is fear and another one, we feel like it's not more than enough what God is doing. So let's change this mentality. God bless you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Your hands together for Jesus. He had more than enough, and yet there was an addition to what was more than enough after giving thanksgiving. You will be the next one to testify in Jesus' name. In our seated position, let's lift up our hand unto the Lord. Lift your voice and appreciate God, who is the doer of this testimony. Father, we appreciate you. Thank you because of what you have done in the life of our brother. Thank you for giving him more than, than enough. And thank you for bringing addition to what was already more than enough. We give you glory, Jesus, and we appreciate you. In Jesus' mighty name, we appreciate him. To take us yet further, it's time now for the announcements. Kindly Media Product. It is announcement time. The starting point to breakthrough classes holds immediately after the second service and on Saturday at 1 p.m. These classes are designed for new members, those who have given their lives to Christ, and as many as are not filled with the Holy Ghost. 
empowering your week voice of restoration morning glory live streaming service will hold this week on monday and wednesday time is 5:45 a.m east african time the travail of hana midday prayer service holds this wednesday time is 12 noon east african time on the travail of hana facebook page join us this thursday the 20th april in our dominion service Time is 5.45 p.m. East African Time. Good News Join us this coming Sunday, 23rd April, in our Covenant Day of Prosperity. The first service, which is English service, begins at 7.30 a.m. And second service, which is English translated to Kiswahili, begins at 9.30 a.m. East African Time. Breakthrough Home Cell Fellowship continues this Saturday, the 22nd April 2023. Time is 5 to 6 p.m. Kindly locate the nearest home cell close to you. All members are encouraged to check the notice board for the calendar of the church programs for the month of April. The evidence of the life of Christ in you is turning men and women to Christ. Therefore, Go forth and function as a minister of reconciliation by being committed to Operation 12 Souls 2023. All our services are to empower you to the realms of possibilities and never to attend all and do not forget to share the testimonies of the great acts of God on this mountain. Invite your hearers to our services. God bless you. Matangazo Darasa la uamini wapya litaanza punde baada ya ibada ya pili na Jumamosi saa saba kamili za mchana. Madarasa haya yametengwa kwa wageni wale ambao hawajaokoka na wote ambao hawajajazwa na Roho Mtakatifu. Ibada ya kukutia nguvu kila wiki, Voice of Restoration Morning Glory itapeperushwa hewani siku ya Jumatatu na Jumatano saa kumi na mbili kasorobo alfajiri. Ibada ya mchana ya utungu wa Hana Travel of Hana itafanyika Jumatano saa sita kamili za mchana majira ya Afrika Mashariki kwenye mtandao wa Facebook. Ungana nasi Alhamisi tarehe ishirini mwezi Aprili kwa ibada yetu ya umiliki saa kumi na mbili kasorobo za jioni majira ya Afrika Mashariki. Habari njema. Ungana nasi Jumapili ijayo tarehe ishirini na tatu kwa siku yetu ya agano ya ufanisi. Ibada ya kwanza ya kizungu itaanza saa moja na nusu na ya pili inayotafsiriwa kwa lugha ya Kiswahili itaanza saa tatu na nusu majira Afrika Mashariki. Shirika za nyumbani zitaendelea Jumamosi tarehe ishirini na mbili mwezi Aprili kuanzia saa kumi na moja hadi saa kumi na mbili. Tafuta ushirika ulio karibu nawe. Washirika wote wanahimizwa watazame kibao kwenye chumba cha kufundisha watoto wadogo wapate ratiba ya mwezi Aprili. Ishara ya maisha ya Ukristo ndani yako ni kuleta waume na wake kwa Kristo Yesu. Kwa hivyo enenda ukatumiki kama mhudumu wa urejesho kwa kuvuna nafsi mbili katika mwaka huu. Ibada zetu zote ni za kukuleta katika nyanja za uwezekano. Tafadhali kusudia kudhuria zote na usisahau shuhuda za Mwenyezi Mungu katika mlima huu. Wakaribishe wapendwa wako wote kwa ibada zetu zote. Amen, amen. Bwana awabariki. Good morning, everyone. Once again, you're welcome to this service on the behalf of God and his servant. It is time to honor the Lord with our offerings and those that are paying their tithe. Please rise wherever you are and come forward. I want us to understand that as believers, despite the fact that we know we have some dimension of blessings with God, it is important to note that your blessings remains in the waiting room until you are empowered to give. That's why the Bible tells us in the book of Psalms 110 verse 3, he said in the day of his power, his people will be willing. Among other things, his people will be willing to pay their tithe correctly. His people will be willing to give their offering. His people will be willing to partner with him 
his people will be willing to lay down every resources that God have blessed them with when a call like this is made. If you don't want your own blessing to remain in the waiting room, like uh, Sister Delight said, we have tarried on this mountain. We have been empowered. So the ability to give is already in us. Therefore, I would like us to package a qualitative offering this day in appreciation to God and to those that are paying their tithe. Please come forward even as you receive blessings from the Lord. Those paying your tithe, lift your voice and begin to thank God for the opportunity he has given you to obey scripture. The Lord, thank you. I am among those that have obeyed your word and I stand out to pay my tithe. Because you have stood out to do the will of God, your blessings will not remain in the waiting room. He said he will open windows of heaven over you to pour blessings that there will be no room enough to contain. As you pay your tithe today, God will surprise you. Between now and the end of this month, whatever has been hanging in the air and belongs to you, this tithe in your hand becomes a spiritual hook that God will use to pull down whatever it is for you. In Jesus' mighty name. Pay your tithe and go back with expectation that God is using it as a sickle to give you your own portion of blessing. And the rest of us that don't want in any way our own blessings to remain in the waiting room, how terrible will it be for you to attend a service like this and leave the service without your own portion of blessing? I don't want my blessing to remain in the waiting room. So I have been empowered to give, not just empowered to give, to give according to my size. God's servant Bishop Oyedepo said, the day an elephant begin to excrete like a chicken, that is the day that elephant is prepared to die. God has blessed us according to our several capacity and ability. Let's give God as he has blessed us. Listen, church, God is not a beggar. Whether you give or I give or we refuse to give, the work of God will still continue. We are just privileged by God to make sure none of our blessings remain in the waiting room. I would like you to lift up your offering this moment as we speak before God. Lord, thank you for the opportunity to honor you with my substance in this service. Lord, receive these offerings from our hands. Use it for the advancement of your kingdom. Let it be the supernatural key that will facilitate the, the delivery of every blessing that has been in the waiting room. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Let's give our offering rejoicing as we welcome the BCI Symphony for their special ministration. What can't you do? What won't you do? Nothing impossible. Nothing impossible. What won't you do? What won't you do? Nothing impossible. You do not lie, you do not fail. What is hard for you to do? It doesn't exist. It can never ever exist. Oh. You do not lie, you do not. What is hard for you to do? It doesn't exist. It can never ever exist. According to your knowledge and the will for me, what you say you have done, I jump it to all I know. Because you are not a man that changes his mind. Oh, those that know you will trust in you. Not in horses, the chariot, but the ammo. No man can prevail. No man, no man, no man, no man. My confidence is you. What is that? What is that for you? 
You do not lie. You do not lie. You do not lie. 
lift up your hands to heaven and express your gratitude to him give him praise give him glory give him adoration lift up your voice lift up your voice don't let anything close your mouth appreciate God let him know you appreciate him let him know you glorify him give him praise thank him for bringing you into his presence open your mouth you have talked to man throughout the week. It is now time to talk to God. Tell him, Lord, I appreciate you. Tell him, Lord, I glorify you. Tell him, Lord, thank you for bringing me today. Your name be glorified. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we have praised and worship him. And every believer that is alive, say louder, amen. amen. Wave your hands to heaven. With your hands to heaven. Appreciate him. Appreciate him. Glorify him. Glorify him. Talk to him. Let him hear your voice. I appreciate you Lord. I glorify you. I exalt you. I bless your holy name. Thank you faithful father. In Jesus precious name. We have glorified him this morning. Covenant keeping father, thank you for gathering us from far and near. Amen. You took us through the whole of last week. Amen. And now you have brought us into a new week. Amen. We thank you and thank you for what you are said to do in our life. Amen. It is our week of testimony. Amen. It is our week of new experience. Amen. It is our week of divine visitation. Amen. It is our week of open door. Amen. And it is our week for elevation. Amen. We are getting out of every valley of life. Amen. And we are coming to a place of gratification. Amen. A place of elevation. Amen. We are having a better view of our life. Amen. Thank you faithful father. In Jesus precious name. We have given him thanks. Amen. If you believe that God is making this week your own week of elevation, your own week of promotion, put your beautiful hands together. I'm watching you from here. I'm not sure it's God you are clapping for. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. When you don't honor God, he forgets you. Amen. When you go to your rally, you jump up and down. When you go to town meeting, you do what you like. You are, your voice is the loudest. But when it comes to honoring God, we do it as if we are doing it for men. It is time you know it is God that enable your hand to move. You could wake up this morning paralyzed, but God does not allow it. Now put your hands together 
in value and in exchange of your adoration for God. Hallelujah. God bless you and prosper you. One thing I will continue to fight you for is your attitude in church. Our attitude in church does not reflect heart that are circumcised. Our attitude in church does not reflect a heart that is broken. And that's what God is looking for. I pray that the Holy Spirit will come in our midst mightily. He's already in the house. And carry out a quick walk. And circumcise our heart. Drop our ego. Silence ourselves and make himself real in our life. Amen. If you believe that, say a better amen. amen. If you believe that, say a better amen. amen. Please, you may be seated and welcome your neighbor. Is that your neighbor even talking at all? That's part of the attitude I'm talking about. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I don't know why, but I will continue to teach until we get it right. Yes, when we are having Zoom meeting, it takes the hand of God to control the noise that comes in your houses. True or false? Yes, but when we come to church, we become mute. And these have several implications. God want noise. God want what? Noise. noise. He said make a joyful noise unto the Lord. God want noise. Can I hear your noise right now? Come on shout hallelujah. You are not the one to prescribe the food for God to eat. He said, make a joyful noise. Unlock this mic, please. Give me a sharp voice. I'm not new to you. He said, make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Make a joyful noise. Why are we not making it? Number one, ignorance. Number one, what? Neymar have tried all their best to silence the Muslim. But they have not succeeded. But they have succeeded for the church. There's nothing you can do. They will put their loudspeaker and make their loud noise to their God because they are obedient to him. When a meeting last week and uh, a new a bishop has been appointed to be one of the board of Nima. And we're telling him, how are you fearing? I met the minister, the former minister of something, lands here in the county, and we're talking, and he said, you hope your neighbor have relaxed. I said, they have no choice. Because I know nobody, no demon will allow you to worship God without a fight. Without what? A fight. No demon will allow you to worship your God without a fight. He said, from the days of John the Baptist, the kingdom of God suffered violence, and the violent take it by force. That thing that is making you not to be able to shout when it comes to the praise of God, but when it's your money that is taken, your voice is on top. I curse that spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. Number one is ignorant. Number two is a sin. The righteous is as bold as as a lion. When you find yourself not shouting, not free in church, it is sin that have suppressed you. When Adam sinned, the first thing he said, he said, I heard your voice and I hid myself. Somebody in hiding automatically is not shouting. Is that correct? One of the ways to hide is to keep quiet. Praise the Lord. I said, praise the Lord. Whatever is making you, every lifestyle that is making you to be available for other things and not available for God, it shall be destroyed this morning. Amen. Let me hear your louder amen. amen. B, 
Being silent is not a sign of spirituality. On the contrary, it's a sign of unrighteousness in your domain. Don't let anybody know, you know I'm very silent. Take his money, you will see his action. You understand what I'm saying? Take his money, you will know he can talk. Take his position, you will know he can talk. Praise the Lord. Silence is a sign of unrighteousness at his peak in your life. A sign of dominion of sin. The righteous is what? As bold as a lion. Lion take no permission in the jungle to make noise. Praise the Lord. I see liberty in our life. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Today is a special day. I can't hear your voice. I was in a class yesterday and we were taught two things. Make anointing not to manifest. Number one is the life of the minister himself. And number two is the attitude of the people he's talking to. As anointing without limitation. An anointing. This morning, I want your belief system to come alive. Tell your neighbor and say, let your belief system come alive. Say it one more time. Turn to somebody that is very far and provoke him and say, I want your belief system to be alive. Amen. Today is our covenant day of supernatural employment and Promotion. Supernatural employment and promotion. And I believe we have a testimony. And your own will be among the very best testimony. Let your email be stronger. The things you are taught here are not my words. They are his words. If you are not blessed in this ministry, I'm not to be blamed. If you are not blessed, I am not to be blamed. One thing I keep on thanking God for my mentor, my father, Bishop Oedeko, is that he put me on the right path to ministry. He let me know what makes a man's life to count. A man of God will never be valuable for visiting you in your various houses. It's not because I'm proud that I don't come to your houses. It's because I know where I'm supposed to meet you. I'm supposed to meet you from here, from the altar. It's not that I despise you. I remember a lady who was, uh, was well off in... Uh, KPA, many years ago, very top official there, came to our church. And I was greeting people that are first timer. I'm the one who hold my hand. You are not the one who hold my hand. Amen. And they were lining up. I saw I was greeting them, so I was tired, so I stopped. And returned my hand back to my pocket. And told them, you are, the rest of you, you are most welcome. Because I'm tired. Amen. So she said she was offended. That I look down on her. I don't know you. How can I look down on you? I was just tired. So I stopped. There are several ways of greeting. Shaking hand is one. Saying you are welcome is one. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. I want you to be void of offenses when you come to church. Amen. I don't know who I'm talking to this morning. 
this anointing has been on me since last night. Stop sitting down and be carried away by something else. This is the house of God, not the house where people fight. Amen. It's the house of God. Where, where I'm seated there does not mean I'm better than you. This is where I perform my function from. Amen. If you are to function where, it's from where you are seated. Amen. The Bible says, make all men to sit on grass. We have given you plastic. We have tried. You know, I hear God in a very strange way. <laughs> tell your neighbor we have tried. It's your neighbor if he's not. If he's not, tell him we have tried. We, have, we gave you chairs and we gave you carpet. They were seated on the grasses, but their miracle could never miss them. Stop minding where you are seated and where somebody else is seated. I, I, I said last night, many of you have better chairs than the plastic. So we didn't come for sitting arrangement. We came to receive our blessing. Praise the Lord. I said praise the Lord. Maintain the purpose that brings you to church. Maintain. The man said, I was in the ISO that is called Patmos. For the word of God and for the testimony of Jesus Christ. That's what brought us. Amen. That's what brought us. Hallelujah. One day I was in church of uh, uh, Pastor Enichi and uh, I was there with Pastor Joshua. I went for minis his minister's conference. And we entered there and me and Joshua, we sat at the third row. The third row to the entrance where we are free. Amen. Where we could talk with we could not talk and nobody would disturb us. No usher will say, get up, sit down, rise. We're just seated at the back there. Because I came there to receive. Amen. I came there to do what? Amen. To receive. I didn't come to see Pastor in nature. I didn't even plan to greet him in any way. At all. We lodge in the next hotel, next to the church. Where they, they open the gate. We are the number one. Your bed and your chairs at home are good. If you are responsible to be here, be responsible for our purpose. Amen. Am I hearing your amen? amen? Am I hearing your amen? amen. I didn't plan to see Eneche. I know Eneche personally. He knows me personally. But I didn't plan to see him. But when the video people were carrying their camera and they saw me at the back of the church, they picked me and he looked at the screen and he saw me there. He looked for me while the service was going on. We were taking communion as we were lining up to go and take communion. I just saw somebody. So, you are here. And we greeted. Because this is a somebody that me and my wife, we used to carry him Amen. in my car, right? We were lodging the same hotel. When they come, I was around Papa then. Then he, I will be the one to direct some of them to where they are to sit, where to who, because there is protocol everywhere. We, you, I used to pick him and his wife in my car. But that, I didn't come there to, to look at people. I came here to see God. Please, when you enter this compound, dr drop your pride at the supermarket. They will keep it for you. Enter here and see God. When you see God, he said they look unto him and they will light him and their faces were not ashamed. From there, we would just walk because the service was over. We, it took me to his office. We sat, we talked. There is time for everything under the sun. The reason why many are not transforming, they didn't see Jesus. No one see Jesus in a service and not have a transformation. Yes, Even the dead saw him. He had a transformation. The Bible says, and he laid his hand upon the bier, and he that was dead came back to life. I pray this from now onward, your services will be very productive. When you attend service, you will go home with a meaningful thing. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. So shall it be. And this money shall be your own money of spiritual promotion. 
Let me hear your louder. Amen. Let me hear your louder. Amen. And what a joy it lined up with our series of teaching on the instrument for supernatural empowerment. Mama took on first uh, on first day when we commence to look at the source and the channel or the instrument of um, divine of supernatural empowerment. Mama took the, the first one, Nimbad. I'm not going to repeat them. Look for them and get blessed. The what? The new bad. And I will just read the first scripture there that confirm that when you are born again, you have some source of empowerment. In John chapter 1 and verse 12, it says, as many that have received him, he gave them power to become the son of God. Pastor Ores took um, prayer and fasting. Very clear. He said, they that wait upon the law, they shall renew their strength. They shall renew their strength. And he also tells us that there are kind of challenges that will not be subdued without prayer and fasting. He said, how be it this kind Go wet not except by prayer and fasting. Pastor Jones took the blood. And I came up in the overnight. I spoke about the war. Now, why do we give you all this? It's, it's, we give you all this teaching. The best, thing, the best person to be empowered is you. Because no one can feel your pain. And no one knows where life is hurting you. And you desire a change of story. I came back. I spoke powerfully on the place of the world. If you look at this ministry very well. We spend a lot of time on the world. On the world. The word of God is the custodian of his power. The dimension of his word you know will determine the power you emit. And this morning, we'll be looking at the place of gratitude and praise. And brother Alan gave me a leeway. Some of the things we teach there, here, they are the key to your life. If your life still remain locked, go and check your notes. There is what you have been taught and you have refused to do them. He has just given me a leeway. Gratitude and praise is a channel through which God flows his power. Gratitude and praise. If you like, thanksgiving and praise is one of the instruments through which God emits his power in our favor. Gratitude. Gratitude. He said, he went, this, the wife was re-echoing the school fees. And like he said, I don't know why, women are very, very good managers. They keep register of everything. And then he was reminded over and over. You know when somebody is telling something to you and you know when somebody is instructing you with affirmation. And he said, relax. And God opened a door for, for him. That's the first testimony. The second testimony is that he applied what he was taught. He applied what he was taught. That you have service does not guarantee client. Amen. So he went back to thank the person. Simple. Listen, as a normal human being who is not a believer, there is no justification for him going back. But if you are a believer, the Bible says you should give thanks in how many things? In all things. Whether you are right or you are wrong. For this is the will of God 
concerneth you in Christ Jesus. So he went back to tank. And the man said, ah, but you gave me service. Ah, now that you have come back, have another one. And my, the, the summary of my sermon today is that gratitude and praise open all doors. Amen. That was the last day. The pocket of the man was open. You have, we have met severally. You have met severally. People that are carrying your blessing, but you were not able to unlock it. You were not able to unlock it. Because you feel entitled. I taught you here, today I would have been going to state house the way I like. But I didn't know what I know now. I was with Ruto from Nairobi to Eldoret. He was seated next to me. He was an MP then. The two of us, we didn't talk. For almost 45 minute flight. Maybe I was not grateful I was sitting next to a human being. Yeah, that's true. But maybe I was not grateful that I was sitting with a human being. I changed my attitude long ago. I share with you. I don't just preach my success to you. I tell you my failure. Amen. I'll be going to say, because 30 minutes is enough to make friends. Amen. It was, I was seated here by the window. He was seated at the edge. I was not talking with him. He was not talking with me. <laughs> but I was talking with Inyaga, the Nyagas, uh, the two Nyaga, the one Joseph, the one that was late. And we're talking because we knew each other somewhere. But me and Ruto never spoke. The person you meet, be grateful you meet them. Amen. Because you don't know where they are going. Yes, sir. You don't know where they are going. Life is not all about you. Amen. Stop sitting down and feeling arrogant. Amen. Wanting the other to know you. Take effort to know the other. Amen. Because we don't know who we need each other tomorrow. Amen. Praise the Lord. I said praise the Lord. Gratitude and praise create a habitation for God. The custodians of all power. Remember in Chronicle, First Chronicle, chapter chapter eleven, uh, chapter twenty nine and verse eleven. Verse verse eleven say, "The power." I say, "Thine, O Lord, is the greatness and the power. Power belongs to God. So whatsoever." whatsoever connect you to God, connect you to his power. I want you to have all my notes today. I started by saying gratitude and praise create a habitation for God, the custodians of all power. The custodians of all power. The custodians of all power. And I said, whatsoever connects you to God, connects you to his empowerment. Connects you to his power and the chances of you being empowered. Our gratitude and praise to God attracts God and his power in our favor. Psalm 22 and verse number 3. Is where I'm drawing this strength from. He said, but thou art holy. O thou that inhabitest the praise of Israel. Give us amplify and several others. God live inside praise. God live inside praise. Wherever he see praise, he abode there. And he abode with his personality. And one of the attributes of his personality is that power. He is the power. He owned the power. Not some power. The power. When the article D is put there, he owned the main thing called power. He said, but I know that you are most holy. It is indisputable. 
you are God and throw surrounded with song, living among the shout. Are you hearing that? Ah, this praise the Lord. That's why God has never visited you. God, that's not you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. One man asked me, Pastor Wally, one thing I don't like about you, you shout a lot. I say it's because I'm alive. Because I am what? I am alive. Papa shout. Why would Papa shout? Papa is alive. What is silencing you is not silencing me. Some of you will call me and phone. Papa, I don't want you to shout. I don't want to. I don't. Hey, that demon inside you, I need to wipe it off. Chase it away. You are a living being. Surrounded. Living. That means he's dead where they are dead. Living among what? The shout. the shout of praise of your princely people. Hallelujah. If you are not praising God, you are not a priest. Mm. You are not his prince. Amen. I love that translation. Keep it for me. Sometimes I'm talking to them. They say, Papa, don't shout. Me? I choose to obey God and disobey you. Why won't I shout? I'm alive. Praise God. I said praise God. Surrounded with songs. Living. Living up to expectation of your capacity and ability. Among the shout of the praise of your princely people. Look at your neighbor and say I suspect you. I'm not sure you are a prince. Because I've not felt your impact. When my daughter was growing up, when I raised my voice, she said, Daddy, why are you shouting? I said, I've been shouting before I gave back to you. I gave back to you. <laughs> said, Daddy, you are shouting. I said, yes, I have to shout. Because there is foolishness in every child. A voice, a hot voice. <laughs> That's why you see father shout, hey, stop there! Yeah, yeah. Even if you are an adult and you walk around Bishop Oedepo, one thing you will feel is the roaring of a lion. Yeah. Roaring. Yeah. And when he say it, your heart is almost dropping. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Yeah. I said, pray. You are doing foolishness and you are asking me not to shout. What will I be doing? Be watching you? I need to kill it. Yeah. Praise God. God, tell your neighbor, I shout, I shout. because I'm a priestly. I'm a priestly people. I'm not a poverty people. Amen. Let's see the other translation. The other translation, you came up with several. I said, but you are holy. Oh, you who do well. That is the holy place where the praise of Israel are offered. You can keep God in your house. You can make your house a habitation of God. Tell me, a woman had stroke last week and I was canceling them. I said they should get her a tape recorder that is just playing gospel music. Holy songs are therapeutic. Amen. Just get him a, a, a gospel. You know, why is he singing? All of a sudden, the hand will move. Amen. The Bible says, A merry heart do well good like medicine. Amen. Oh, I had an encounter many years ago. I was alone in a car in, uh, between Abuja and my hometown. That's about three hours drive. I had to park. I couldn't control my tears. And I was alone. I was alone playing some CDs. I couldn't control. I was in tears. He said he took, he took light and used it as his covering clothes. You know how you wrap yourself. That's how God, under your sheet, that's how God wrap himself with light. Ofi mole shashobura. Come to Nigeria, you will 
this is your language are not good. Come to my village. We have a way of, 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 of describing God that can move you to tears if you are born again. I was alone. Wept for over 30 minutes. I couldn't control myself driving because on a highway. Praise is powerful. God inhabit it. Wherever he hear his praise, he break door to check the welfare of the person there. You saw what he did when Paul and Silas, he was hearing their praise. You know, I have to break the door. He stooped there. The wall gave up. He found them. Their hand were tied. Say, come on. You can't be creating a house for me and be in bondage. Praise the Lord. Amen. Choir, if you are truly singing for God, you should be free. You should be free. You should be free. This scripture. This scripture. People praise God always have sudden experience. Amen. Sudden. Boom. You wonder what has happened. Praise God. Our gratitude and our praise to God attracts God and his power in our favor. Praise is your, what is praise by the way? Praise is your high rating of God above all other gods, small g, and circumstances of life. Your high rating of God above other gods, small g, and circumstances of life. In other words, you are praising him for who he is. Not what he has done for you. Not what he will do. It's just your high rating of him. Above of every other gods and every other circumstances of life. That's why Paul were giving it to him, even when their circumstances were not favorable. All this one, you come to choir and you are frowning your face. Excuse me, can you get down from our altar? Yeah, something is wrong, but nothing is wrong with God. That's the message. Something is what? Something went wrong. The matter to didn't give you your change. Your husband have just told you he's not interested in you. That's true. Uh, the, the man you have been keeping and praying every day, he has just sent you an SMS. I'm not interested. That's okay. Those are circumstances of life. But nothing is wrong with God. Nothing is what? Is wrong with God. Yes, yes, you have just received. They say that they don't even know when your salary will come. That's fine. But God has come. He has always been around. You know, some people ask me, are you not living in this country? No, I live in God. Because that is where the circumstances is constant. Praise the Lord. Tell your neighbor, I don't know what is went, went wrong this morning. Ask him powerfully. Maybe your boyfriend or your husband is not smiling. Yeah, that was the fight. That is in your house. But that is not in God. It is only one person that is the unchanging changer. Nothing changing. I went for a meeting. Mama gave birth. And it was a still birth. And the child died. And I came back and I found people in my house. In fact, as I was coming in, those who went to bury the child we, also, we arrive at the same time. And I asked, they said, this is it. I said, so where is my wife? They said, she's inside, she can, she's there, she cannot walk. You are there, my, how are you? And I went there and carried her because she cannot walk. And then said, no, I can try. And then I, I just locked my door. The same day, no cancer. There's somebody you cannot lose. There is someone in your life that cannot be lost. He said, no, I am with you all the ways. I will never forsake you and I will never leave. And I held her hand. We walked into our room. People were watching. What will he do again? And I locked my door. Arise, O oh Lord, and your air. Because now mama cannot walk. Arise, she sat on the bed. Arise, O oh Lord, 
and your enemy be scattered. No drum, no keyboard. You don't need all these musicians. Because some of them are not even happy enough to share happiness with you. They are human beings. They have their own issues. We sang and sang in the room and a blessing was outside and the rest. Until the power of God came and slain mama on the floor. And I heard her hand. She stood up and she has been standing. Ask her. Amen. And the second day was uh, when uh, was Tuesday. The third day was Wednesday. And everybody was waiting. What I said, Mama, please prepare. We go to church. <laughs> I've been rugged. Not today. You don't know where God picked me from. All those shenanigans you put on don't move me. I've seen God. Amen. You can't see the invisible. I'm afraid of visible. Amen. So we are going to church. You say yes. I say, and you are the one giving the welcome charge. She's here. Now you give birth, you won't come to church. You give birth. God gave you a miracle. It's in your tradition. Three months, thank you. You won't go to church. And you go to supermarket. What? what? There's, there's something that you go to a bank. I don't know. You say, you know there is blood. Is blood not inside you now? Is blood not inside you as you are seated here? Those are religion. And then we got there. She was putting on a blue guinea brocade. And he stood here and the whole church was quiet. It's like, what kind of a pastor is this? And you know they have been suspecting me as a devil worshiper. <laughs> the church was very new. So and they have been suspecting me as a devil worshiper. So I tell you, what, what kind of a pastor is this? And mama opened her mouth. And say, one thing I've learned, don't get lost with your losses. And she gave a very powerful charge. We have no time to mourn. The, one, the day I was to tell what my bishop what happened, I was going at, at, at a, 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 a telecom, and the devil said, sit down here, nobody is here. Sit and cry. I said, no, Satan. I was not shouldering up because of people is because of what I know. Amen. If a child get lost, it's a child die, and you keep on money, when will you do another one? You have to get out of it. Amen. You have to get out of your money clothes. <laughs> when will you smile with your wife again? <laughs> Are you not seeing the light there? <laughs> We left money long ago. You left money ago. You left money ago. You left money ago. Satan wants to put in you one kind of regret. You just keep on regretting and regretting. If I had known, if I had known, no. We move on. We move on. We don't, I don't have the picture of the child. Somebody died. You are still keeping the picture. Are you normal? He's gone. Never to return. You are the one that will go to him. He will never come to you. I've seen some trend. Some of you even do bad day for people who have died. What kind of religion is coming to the body of Christ? What, do you know what you said when you lay that man to rest? You say you lay him to rest. Why are you waking him up? Muslims don't do all those nonsense. They believe that you are sinning against the one that have died. That's their teaching. I, do you want to hear more? I don't know where that child is buried. Go deeper. Till today. And I will go and show me where you buried the child. No. No. I don't know where. I don't know the cemetery. <laughs> I don't know where. I don't know the cemetery. What is good in yesterday's creator that you are looking for? <laughs> you are looking for the post where you did it. Are you going to take selfies of it? <laughs> the child is gone. Is gone. We praise God. We thank him for who God is because he knows better than us. Amen. He knows why he allowed that situation to happen. Amen. And he said all things work together for your good as long as you are a child of God. 
bury your dead and forget about it. Bury what? You're dead and forget about it. Praise the Lord. You say he has gone to be with the Lord. Why is it on your Facebook? He has gone to be with the Lord. That's what you said. I never know where that child was buried. I never know the name of the If you ask me to go back there, I don't know. I just praise God and we move on. After that, God has given us four intelligent, bright, handsome, beautiful, looking. <laughs> Blessing we see tell you today that all my children resemble me, but not like that one. So it was my carbon copy. I said, that's okay. God knows why. Don't allow life issue to discourage you. Amen. Don't allow life issue to... Silly things happen. But don't be silly to keep them. Amen. The praise of God is simply defined as the high rating of God above all other gods such as sickness and disease. Such as unemployment. You see rich God higher. Higher, higher. Higher, Jesus, higher. Higher, higher. Higher, Jesus, higher. Lower, lower. Lower, Satan, lower. You put everything down and rate God higher than your challenges. Praise the Lord. Psalm 138. Oh, what an unction here. I release it upon you right now. I command your past to lose its grip on your life. Such area when you remember in your life, it brings pain. It is over today in the name of Jesus Christ. If you, have, if you are alive, say a louder amen. Psalm 138. He said, I will praise thee. With my whole heart. None will be given to what the devil is doing. Amen. The whole. Not a quarter. The whole of my heart. Before the gods. Not after they have gone. Before them. Amen. Why I am in that situation? Before them. Amen. Not when I am relieved. Before them. Amen. Unemployment. We will see praise God. Amen. Before you. Before them. Why they are there. I will give God a praise. Before the God will I sing praises unto thee. Before the gods. Why you are in the situation. Who have told you I am now your God. I offer him praise. It's a high esteem. Of what? Of rating of God above all other gods. Above the loan in the bank. Above the SML they send you that we are coming. Let them come. Some, some years back when we are in Makilingo. I don't know why people get angry now that I am looking handsome than before. I don't know why. Honestly, I don't know. Because when I was ugly, they didn't talk. Honestly, I don't know why. In Kano Tower there, shame was coming. They were coming to close the charge. I don't know why people are getting angry that we have cars. I don't know. I don't know. Because when I was suffering, where were you? When I was going through my trial, where were you? Now God has visited me. Instead of you to come and take selfies, you are making noise. That God, Mr. Co is it Coet? Huh? To transfer our case to auctioneer. And they send us a letter that by 12 o'clock they are coming to carry the chairs. If you don't have a story, stop expecting the glory. And then they, I saw the letter. Look at it. I read it. As my custom, it's not my house. It's the house of God. <laughs> the, I will see how God will let his house to be repossessed by a human being. <laughs> I left it there. And then Bishop Oedeko was in town. 
I still went to see my father. And then after the morning service, a few hours, I walk in to the office from the meeting, 6 a.m. in the morning, full of joy. You can't know when I'm in trouble because that's when I will dress most. <laughs> Even if you are coming to kill me, I will be alive till you arrive. <laughs> and I was walking in. Then Shamila was the secretary. I said, uh, Papa, uh, Mrs. Mary wants to see you of blessed memory. What is her name? Mary something. Blessing. blessing. Mary Blessing. Say, want to see you. Now, that was a, wo a woman that time. His tight highest is 20,000. Highest. But that weekend, God gave her over a million. Yeah. When he do a mass, he believed the tight was 100,000. And Kuwait is looking for 100,000. God will stay the hand of your attackers. Yeah. So, uh, I, as my custom is, I greet the poor. I, you know, all of you have access to my office. That's why you run away. My office is, is not for the rich. So, he said, Papa, can you see you? I said, why not? Let her come. And she came in. I said, oh, mother, oh. He said, I was in the middle. Oh, you were there. God bless you. Have a great day. Your day shall be favorable. He said, I was just passing. And I said, I should pay my tithe. He didn't write any name on the tithe. I will never forget the check. That I check, you don't forget. It just open. Exactly 100,000. We only turn it and wrote regent management. They are coming at 12. We are at 8 a.m. God is never late. The God you serve is never late. Never. Never. I give him thanks, but I was not happier. Because I knew he was coming. Amen. I knew he would come through. Amen. And then we just gave it to, I don't know whether Pastor Chege, go and give Kuwait. Every storm in your life, yes, the God that calmed that shame, yes. it will calm the troubled water around you. Yes. Every troubled water will be calm. In the name of Jesus Christ. And that was the end of the story. That was the end of the story. That was the end of the story. Always praise God before the gods. God acknowledge they are there. But what God is not sure is whether we get his praise while they are still around. Has that one sink in? So the praise of God is one of the fastest channels. Through which God flow his power for our empowerment. I repeat it. I know you left school long ago. The praise of God is one of the fastest channel through which God flow his power for our empowerment. There are many things people attributed to me. I'm not there. It is God. It is the doing of the Lord. And it is marvelous in our eyes. I said the praise of God is one of the fastest channel through which God flow his power for our empowerment. Therefore, the praise of God is a weapon in the hand of believer. The praise of God is therefore a weapon in the hand of a believer who had understanding for his empowerment. Who has understanding when you have a deep understanding of what praise does. The weapon of God is in your hand for your empowerment. Amen. At your Pleasurable time today. Please do me a favor to read Psalm 149. Verse 1 to the end. Psalm 149. Before we read that. When the praise of God is in the mouth of believer. God honor them with his power to inflict vengeance and punishment on their enemies. I repeat that. When the praise of God is in the mouth of a believer, God honor them 
with his power to inflict vengeance and punishment on their enemy. How we praise him, how we praise him, how we praise him forevermore. In the name of Jesus, how we praise, 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 how we, how we praise him forevermore. And you are dancing in your room and you are low. In the name of Jesus, how we pray, praise him. If you are alive, join me. Praise him. In the name of Jesus, how we praise him, how we, how we praise him. All of a sudden, you will feel his power in the house. You will feel his power in the house. And then you will know he's in and he's, he has put on his armor. He has joined your army. And you take advantage of it. And you begin to make spiritual legislation. And decree for that situation. Because he's in the house. He will just be stamping them. Confirm. 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 An unusual utterance will be given to you. God na helele. God na wayo. No one be like you. There's no one. There's no one. Hey, whoa, God. Now, nah, hell, You use all the key. If one is not answering, you give him Jones' own. You combine them until you know he has entered the house. And you could feel it. Your eyes begin to go red. You become a lion that you are. Praise God. You know, when lion charge, his prey begin to excrete. That's what will be happening to your enemy. Amen. I said, that's what God will be doing to your enemy. Amen. As, uh, before I get there, let's read that psalm. He said, praise the Lord. Sing unto the Lord a new song. And his praise in the congregation of his sin. Anytime you are, you are in church, somebody is sitting next to you and he's not singing, give them elbow. Give them elbow. Don't let him bring his satanic influence on you. Amen. Amen. Give him a book. He said, let Israel rejoice in him that made him, not what he's going through. And the children, he said, let the children of Zion be joyful in their king. Let them praise his name in the dance. In the da there are some of you, I'm owing you lunch. Like, like, like this, my sister. Stand up, stand up. You at the back there. You, you are the one looking like this one. When, when she's dancing, it's the whole body. The like of chow. It become like a wind. But you see some people just stand like firewood that was imported from Somali. They say a deliverance today. Come on, say I am delivered. Sit down. In the dance, not some dance. In the very best of dance, the dance. He said, let them sing praise unto him with timbre and harp. For the Lord take a pleasure in his people when they are doing that. He will beautify the meek with salvation. He said, let the saint be joyful in, in glory. Let them sing aloud upon their bed. And let the high praise of God be in their mouth and the two-edged sword in their hand. To do what? To execute vengeance upon the hidden and punishment upon the people that they are enemy. To bind their king because they are now powerful with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron. To execute upon them the judgment written. One of the judgment written is that you should be walking. You see, I will bless the works of your hand. You foul spirit of unemployment that has crept into the life of people. By being too choosy, yes. every job they get to, I don't think I can. Oh, oh, oh. Those are the seed of the devil that kept you unemployed. Those chains are broken. He yes. said, This honor have all the same. Praise ye the Lord. I say, a close look at scripture. In many instances, 
where gratitude and praise has been offered, God reciprocated by availing his power to his praiser. I repeat that. A close look at scripture, many instances where gratitude and praise has been offered to God. He reciprocated by what? By availing his power in favor of his praiser. I mentioned two, and then I pray for those who want supernatural employment. Hallelujah. Amen. Those who want to change job. Amen. Those who are tired of their career and they don't know what next to do. It will happen today. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Second Chronicle 20, 20 to 24, you read at home. You know what happened. As they began to sing, Praise the Lord. Your mercy endureth forever. God took over the battle. God is taking over your battle. Acts chapter 16 and verse 25. Paul and Silas, with chain on their hand, they provoke the supernatural empowerment of God that set them free and loose them from their bondage. Let me just jump to Joshua chapter 6, where we now minister from. Joshua chapter 6 and verse 1 and 2. I want you to know every one of you coming out for prayer or wherever you are, or whatever you are trusting God for. Every blessing of God will be surrounded by enemy. Every blessing of God will always be surrounded by your enemy. Every blessing of God around you or for you attracts opposition. That's why God himself said, my son, I will set a table before you in the presence of your enemy. Now, the presence of the enemy should not be your concern. It should be your affirmation. We make it a concern. We make, we make it a concern. Instead of receiving it as an indicator that there is a blessing for me. This guy cannot be here. They can't be saying what they are saying if it's not a blessing in the corner. It is blessing that attract enemy. So when you see enemy, look at the other side. You will see his blessing. Amen. Come on, say it louder. Amen. If you are saying that, amen, let it come from your within. Amen. Look at it. Because this is what makes us a victim. This is what makes us not to go all out to possess our blessing. He said, now Jericho was what? I want to hear from everybody. No, there is an, there's something describing the shot. Strictly shut up. For who? Because of the children of Israel. None went out and none comes in. And look at what God said in verse 2. And the Lord said, come on unto Joshua. See, I have given into thy hand Jericho, a place that is strictly shut up. And the king thereof and the mighty men of valor. But how did Israelite unlock the strictly shut up door? They unlock it with praise. They did what? Unlock it with praise. They unlock it with praise. Verse 20. They unlock that door with praise. So the people shouted when the priest blew with the trumpet. And it came to pass that when the people heard the sound of the trumpet, and the people shout with a great shout. And the wall fell down flat. So that the people went up into the city. Every man straight before him. And they took the city. God said, he that does not walk, let him not eat. So it is his will. He has a job for you. I say he has employment for you. He has a promotion for you. But that you have promotion does not mean you will not contend in the battle. 
And one of the weapons to contend with the enemy that is sitting over your unemployment, that is sitting over your promotion, is a shout to the Lord. It's a shout of his praise. So the people shouted when the priest blew the trumpet and it came to pass. When the people heard the sound, other people that heard the sound, and the people shouted with a great shout that the wall fell down. Every wall behind your unemployment stories. They are giving it today in the name of Jesus Christ. Every wall of barriers, hatred, nepotism, tribalism in your place of work that have sat over your promotion is given up today in the name of Jesus Christ. Why? God said to me, when people shout my praise, I get involved. And when I get involved, the enemy must dissolve. I had him. When God is involved, the enemy must dissolve. The world dissolve. And the children of Israel went in and possessed their possession. Rise up on your feet. Rise up on your feet very fast. When God is involved, the enemy must dissolve. As many that are believing God for employment, just step forward. Step forward. It's a two, three minute job. You are believing God for employment. Just, you want a job. You want a job. You want to change your job. You want promotion wherever you are. Step forward. Step forward very fast. When God is involved, the enemy must dissolve. Today is a special day. It's your covenant day. It's your covenant day. It's your covenant day. It's your covenant day. E klato skeleto break eskoteli daya. Make to break gezu gatangle gedu gadage ya gedo. E rusata beliga ya tele morozo do. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. How many of you are not born again? If you are not born again, let's start from there. If you are not born again, let me see your hand up. God bless you. Will you like to give your life to Christ today? Okay, step forward. Let's start. Let's do it. Let's follow the prescription. If somebody promised you uh, 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 watermelon juice and you don't see watermelon, you better run away for your life. Amen. How many of you are not born again in the congregation who want to give his or her life? Join forward very fast. Praise God. I said praise God. I said, praise God. One of the pastors will quickly lead her to, to the Lord very fast. Just go to her. She's alone. You can talk to her alone. Hallelujah. The rest of you, stretch your hand and pray for this one. Oh, kata gala gaya gada. A beke ya teleze de boroto. A meke te gila de zada. E claro skope gedu zada. And the lutarate se telebo. Rikapo se te. E yake tori li babo zida ba. Holy Spirit. How do you want to deliver their job into their hand? E ske to breduz gatan le gero to lida. A ke prozida ka ye gedu zada. E ru satam le gero do baba. Thank you father. Now where you are make a covenant with God. Of your choice. Make a covenant with God. It's a covenant day of employment. Make a covenant with God. Make a covenant. I don't know what you are saying, but a covenant is this. Lord, I make a covenant as you give me this job. It will not come between me and you. It could be your covenant. Lord, as you give me this job, my first salary goes to you. I wish Teddy is here. Teddy Opara is one of, you see, and is one of our leaders in Nairobi. He did that. My son is here. He did that. Say something. Lord, as you give me this job, I will live for you. Make your covenant with God. As you give me this new job, 
as you promote me. Hannah made a vow. He said, God, if you give me that son, I will give it back to you. It's a sign of your commitment. It is never a bribe to God. Lord, as you give me this job, I will serve you. I will be more dedicated. And those of you who are looking for promotion, make your commitment to God. The one you know you will honor. Make your commitment a covenant to God. Lord, from that office that I'm aspiring for, I will exalt your name there. I will make sure people file are not lost. I will make sure as I sit on that seat, people will no longer groan in pain for their payment. I'm going there for your kingdom. I will make sure the brethren in church I employ make a commitment, make a commitment, make a commitment, make a commitment, make a covenant. If you are done, I'm ready in the name of Jesus. Begin to give thanks for that covenant you have made. Make sure you honor it. Make sure you honor it. Make sure you honor it. For yes now, mama does not pay tithe of 10%. You pay of 20. Make a covenant. Stop going for yourself. Go on the behalf of God. Lord, from every contract you give me, I'm tired of doing contract of million. I thank you for it, but there is a higher place. Every contract you give me, I give you back 10% apart from my tithe. I pay school fees for widows. Have you made that covenant? Lift up your two hands. Heavenly Father, lift it above your head because it's something taking you higher than where you used to be. You are a covenant keeper. Yes, yes. And we say we should have respect unto the covenant yes, yes. for the dark places of the earth are full of cruelty. Amen. In other words, covenant commits you. Yes, and you have what it takes to deal with every opposition. Amen. Father, I pray for everyone whose hand are lifted up here. Yes. And I said the purpose for which they are standing is hereby converted to testimony. Yes. Miracle job in the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus met Peter jobless, frustrated, and he said, Cast your net on this side. Father, today I stand in the name that is above every other name as a privileged servant of you, and I make this declaration that everyone standing here for job, you will be the one to make a choice among many options. You will be the one to make a choice among many options. In the name of Jesus Christ. He said, you are not the one who have chosen me. I'm the one who have chosen you and ordained you. And, and ordained you that you should go and bear fruit. And that your fruit should abide. And whatsoever you ask. Father, I stand because I'm not the one that called myself to this office. My righteousness does not qualify me. I am here by the grace of election. And you say I should go forth and bear fruit and my fruit shall abide. And that whatsoever I ask. Father, I ask up on the behalf of these wonderful people. Open doors. Open doors of employment. Open doors of promotion. Open door of employment. Father, this is the available. You took the bread that was available. And you gave thanks and it multiplied. At the tomb of Lazarus, you gave thanks and the grave opened. Every grave of unemployment open now in the name of Jesus Christ. And I loose the people under your bondage. And I usher them to a fruitful employment. In the name of Jesus Christ. Pastor Lilia in Nairobi was sharing a testimony. He said there is a woman, he always, he asked me how much is the rent. And since we started, he has always paid the rent. And then he got a new job. 
and the house allowance for one month, we pay her rent for one year. God never forget people. He will not forget your vow. I pray for strength to keep the covenant you have made. Receive it in the name of Jesus Christ. One month house rent is a million. He was paying 40,000. Sorry, it's about four times 12. 48, yeah. It's about 480,000 house allowance. So when he gets one of January, it will pay her rent throughout the month, throughout the years. Whatever vow you have made, I trust God. He has what it takes. And I pray for you that when it happens, you will not forget God. Amen. You will remember him. Amen. And therefore now, Lord, they have made their mind to remember you. Release power for supernatural employment. Amen. Supernatural offer. Amen. Supernatural offer. Amen. Supernatural offer. Amen. Supernatural offer. Amen. Testimony provoke testimony. When Papa did God the job, they gave him 400, 40, is it 40, 40,000, 400 dollars. The first one. And he gave it and threw it back to God. I, 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 I told him, whatever you need, I pity him. But you see, when you are following God, it's hard. It was his choice. He said, this is my first fruit. I give it back to God. In less than two months, it was 600 dollars. In less than uh, four months, or somewhere there around four or five, it was $1,800 from $400. And from there, it become pounds in thousands. Somebody says, I should not be telling you people the salary. But if it's the doing of the Lord, I declare it on top. It become thousands of pounds from Kenyan shilling. Nobody get to the top. Nobody get to the top without a deity. No one get to the top without a God. Amen. All I'm saying, connect with the true God. Amen. You are going up. Amen. I say you are going up. Amen. I say you are going up. Amen. God that did it for us, we do it for you. Amen. And on top of that, when, she was, when he was going, I'm giving you testimony to have a big heart. Amen. When he was going, when the company in Kenya could not beat the one in UK, they said, okay, no problem. You will still work for us as remote. So you walk from where he is for the company here in Kenya and they added 90,000. When he was with them, they were paying him around 200. When he was going, they added 90,000. I said, work for us. So he give them five hours there. Give five hours to Kenya and the rest hour for UK. God is not only his God. He's your God. He can do it better for any one of you. Father, you know my finger is not in all this. The same way, I trust you that those one that are standing, even without my prayer, you will do bigger things for them in the name of Jesus Christ. The connection you need is God. My hand is not there. The mother hand is not there. If you ask me whether I've ever seen the pay slip, I've never. I'm just alone. It's good to be alone with God. Today, you are alone with your God. We will be praising God in a heavy way. Don't joke with it. Because it's losing chain. It's losing generational connection. It's connecting you with men who will help you without any strength. What are they? What a day. What a day. What a day. God is turning your captivity. Look, the art is of the law. What you are asking is among one thing that is of the law. Your asking will not make him poor. Enlarge your expectation. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. My sister Shamila was telling me, he said, Papa, I thank you. I'm now enjoying your shouting. I'm now enjoying your shouting. The things you taught me. 
the behavior you put in me. From small job, he got job with IMF. This is our seed. It's our God. Amen. Why will he forget you? Oh, yes. You went together. Since it's not my daughter, I won't tell you the salary. He said that, Papa, I, I asked myself, is this Shamila? I said, yeah, you are the one. That's what God can do. Amen. Everything converted. Visa for him herself, a permanent stay for herself, permanent stay for the for the son who is schooling here. Ticket to go. He just returned from Mexico. What of if you are the one going to Jamaica also? <laughs> Everything fully paid for with enough dollar to spend. Some people cannot be enjoying another as well, you know. There's a change of story for someone here. I said there is a change of story for someone here. He said, so Papa, when you are doing your birthday this year, I'm coming. I say you have to. And don't come here with empty hand. <laughs> it's good to have children that are doing well. I saw my boy putting one chin. I look at him. I look at him. I wanted to talk. I remember. I remember. I couldn't talk because it is his money. <laughs> it's not school fees. Come on, tell your neighbor it's my turn. Say, Father, remember me for elevation. I am tired of the valley. Lift up your hand one more time. Pastors, anoint them. And I will lay hand on you one by one. And as my hand come on you, begin to celebrate. Let the anointed just anoint them, anoint everyone. Choir, sing, start singing now. Praise. Praise. All oh, he's like able to yes, do, Lord. Yes, Lord. just what he says, he will do. He's going to fulfill every promise to you. Don't give up on God. Don't that. give up. Don't give no, up. Give Come up. on. Oh, oh, oh yes. He's able. Let me see you celebrate in you. He's able. Celebrate the Lord. That is, let's say together. Oh, yeah. hey, he's able to do. That's why he says he will do. He's going to do. He's going to do. Let me hear your voice. Promise to you. Don't give up on God. Don't give up on God. He won't give up. He's able. He's able. He's able. 
you better than before say I'm gonna clap a little better than before say Praising God. Those of you looking for employment, God said to me, begin to monetize your information. Amen. I had that, and I believe it's a word for all of us. Monetizing your information. You hear something, look for where it's needed. I'm begging for your profiting. Amen. I had it more than three times. Amen. Yes, somebody is selling land. That is an information. Stop giving out information for free. Stop giving out information for free. Monetize it. Amen. Monetize it. Amen. Somebody is selling land. Ask him, if I get you a buyer, how much is my commission? Monetize it. It's going to be a mighty open door. Amen. Run with information. The church have been wasting information casually. Monetize it. Monetize it. Amen. Number two thing I had, run errand for people at a cost. Run errand for people at a cost. Run errand. Wish people well, run errand at a cost. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Heavenly Father, thank you for what you are doing. You have asked them, you have asked me to shake their hand. And congratulate them on behalf of God Amen. for a dawn of a new day. Amen. Father, as I shake their hands, I seal what you have released. Amen. I seal that the door you have opened, Amen. no barrier of life will lock it. Amen. No generational causes will be able to lock it. Amen. Thank you, faithful Father. As I shake your hand, you put that hand on your head. And begin to thank God for your new employment. Amen. Whatever you came out for, you begin to thank God for it. Amen. Lord, I congratulate them on your behalf. Amen. I congratulate them on your behalf. Amen. I congratulate them on your behalf. Amen. It's turned to testimony. It's turned to testimony. Amen. It's turned to testimony. Amen. We will hear you sharing your testimony. Amen. Elevation, you won't pressurize your director. Because the favor and the praise of God that you have done today make you a praise among men. Congratulations, 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 congratulations. It's your turn. Put it on your head. It is for your head. Congratulations, congratulations. A door is open. 
No more toiling. No more toiling. We are children of God. God has a plan for you. Congratulations. 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 Congratulations, Malobe. Congratulations. 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 Ruth, turn around. Congratulations. Congratulations. Congratulations, Abed. Congratulations. 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 It is your turn now. You will have a testimony. Congratulations. 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 You will grow great, little girl. Congratulations. Congratulations. It is now your turn in the name of Jesus. God has taken over that battle. Congratulations. 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 A new elevation. Congratulations. Lift up your hand, everybody, and appreciate God. Glorify Him. Exalt Him. Bless His holy name. Thank you, faithful Father. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. Those of us in second first service will break at our various home after second service. Amen. As you go home, the Lord go with you. Amen. The peace of God go with you. Amen. The prayer request you brought in this service, you drop it on the altar by yourself and just give thanks to God. You drop it on the altar by yourself and just give thanks unto God. If you are fellowshipping with us for the very first time, today is your first Sunday with us. Wave your hand wherever you are. Today is your first Sunday. God bless you, my brothers. God bless you. God bless you. Please come forward. I want to shake your hand and pray for you. you Keep on clapping. You are welcome to Prayer to Chapel. The Lord will meet you at the point of your need. He will restore your life to the wind and power. Honor and dignity. That's what it says you do. That job that you lost. Restore it back to you. The powers that you lost. Restore it back to you. The Lord will meet you at the point of your need. Amen. Wonderful people of God. What a great day to be in our service. God has given you supernatural employment. God has ordained a lifting for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. You will know whether there is God here. I am too sure he will not disappoint you. You come in a unique day and the blessing of today follow you. I want to ask are all of you born again? If you are not born again so that I lead you. If you are not born again just lift up your hand. It's free. You have just given your life now. Is that, are you all born again? If you are not born again just lift up your hand so that I can pray for you and you receive Jesus into your life as your Lord and your Savior. And I take this opportunity to call those who are watching us online if you are not born again, I want to pray for you right now. It is time to receive Jesus. The one that promotes men and no man can bring them down. The one that opened a door and no devil can shut it. Wherever you are, you want to receive Jesus, let me know right now. Do we have any one of you in the congregation who want to say yes to Jesus today? Maybe today is not your first time, but you have never received Jesus. If there is anyone, say after me, Lord Jesus, thank you for today. I am a sinner. Forgive me my sin. I invite you Jesus. To come into my life. I agree. And I confess. That I am a sinner. But today. I welcome you into my life. Cleanse me. For I believe in my heart. That you are the son of God. And that you die. And rose from the grave. For my sake. Thank you Jesus. I am now born again. I receive you. As my Lord and Savior. Amen. May the Lord bless you. For those of you online, the banner displays our address. The following one is our various uh, uh, location address where you can meet us and fellowship with us. And in case we are not close to you, find it pleasurable to look for a Bible believing church around you and begin to go to church. God bless you and prosper you. In Jesus' precious name. Once again, those of you in the front, this is BCI, Breakthrough Chapel International. We welcome you all time to come and fellowship with us. God bless you. Church, are you happy to see them? Please help me put your hands together for them. Hallelujah. This is our gift to you. God bless you. God bless you. This is our gift to you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. This is our gift for you. God bless you. 
It is well with your soul. It is well with your soul. As you go, the mighty hand of God go with you. The peace of God be upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ. So shall it be. In Jesus' precious name. Our pastor is here. Where is the pastor? Where are you? Oh, you are going this side today. It's a promotion for you. Amen. Amen. Where we are receiving guests has been tied yesterday. So they are dignified. <laughs> Hallelujah. Please follow the pastor. God bless you. Church, are you happy to see them? Yes. Give a shout of victory to Jesus. Yes. Hallelujah. All the prayer points you come with as we share the goodness, you come on the altar and drop it. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. Yes. It is well with your soul. Please don't conceal the testimony as God begins to make it happen. We share testimony to provoke the faith of others. I believe everyone that came out will have a testimony. Amen. God cannot bless you and leave the rest. Amen. I know I will hear your testimony. Amen. In Jesus precious name. Amen. Let's share the goodness. Surely God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life and we shall dwell in the presence of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. The Lord God is our son and our shield. He will give us no good thing will leave we hold from us as we walk uprightly. We are restored to power, to dominion, to honor, and to dignity. Amen. Great God of all possibility, my eyes are on you. Shame, reproach. Make it louder. Yeah. Hold the hand of the person as you and say, I release upon you the grace to be spiritually violent. Amen. God bless you.